Good day, great galloping gallants. I'm on Silent and Round here with more Racing Lagoonus episode number 31 of Racing Lagoon. Thanks for tuning in last time out, last time out. Well, I thought we were making good progress here in South Yokohama, but it turns out there's much work still to be done. Because if we are to be allowed passage into Bay Lagoon Tower in an attempt to rescue our friends, we must first become Yokohama's fastest. That means completing unofficial races. Not there, that's the body shop. So we're going to go looking for unofficial races and check in at places along the way. We're going to start at Hanmoku Wharf. I was going to say, because it's probably the closest, not even close. But we know there are unofficial races on offer tonight at Hanmoku Wharf. This is the former stomping grounds, of course, of Hanmoku Night Racers. Well, we don't have much working for us here, but we got some stuff working for us here, so we can uh, hit a few of these. Obviously not the... the... Hmm. Do we have to modify the bot? No, the, yeah, the body's modified, and then the arrow kit's the arrow kit. We don't have to worry about any of this crap. Uh, we can put on the uh, arrow Diablo, knock off a bunch of weight, and then toss on all this extra weight reduction like komsa and then we can add some more weight reduction ya there's a oh I got a chassis 30 diet and just like that 800 horsepower and well uh considerably less than that wait so we're going to start with the mid-rear cup. Throughout the ages, Honmoku has always shined alongside the harbor's light. Mid-rear first. Then we'll move on to the front rear, front engine, rear wheel drive, and we'll kind of hit a couple of those and just kind of go around town, see what we can find. Hit these unofficial races as long as uh, the game will let us. Well, I was going to say, I guess it's going to let us for a while. I hope we've got enough parts to do uh, enough different unofficial races that uh, we can qualify as Yokohama's fastest. It was not particularly pretty, but eh, it was effective. Uh, the gas station is at the hairpin, the left-hand hairpin up, coming up. Oop. Right. Oop. I know I keep saying I want to keep seeing if, the, if we can shortcut it here. Because it opens up here. Nope, we're not allowed to. Well, now we know. How many times over the last 30 episodes have I said, Hey, I wonder if I could... Well, probably not that many. <laughs> to be honest, how often do we race here at Honmoku Wharf? But... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I swear to God, I have not been drinking. <laughs> uh, I've not been drinking. Apparently, I'm just having a stroke is all. <laughs> Dove into her and did the same thing on the last lap, too. It's not like I'm getting any pressure behind. But... Yeah. Just trying to... Because yeah, the disappear was on you, right? I mean... So it widens, it narrows, and does all that. So you don't know where exactly... You're going until you've got the muscle memory built in. And I do this so often, of course, the muscle memory is all right there. Now let me know which direction that first turn goes. That goes a lot more smoothly, now doesn't it? I looked for the outside wall as opposed to the inside wall that time. The opposite of how one usually approaches a turn. Maybe we'll do that here as well. 
just look for the outside wall. It was very ginger. No. Over rotated there, that's fine. This is another one where you're going to be looking for the outside wall. Nope. And cross the line. Well, he went from a 53 and change to a 47 and change fast lap. And like the last few races, 150,000 yen. Like the last few races, we're just going to be skipping the, the replay skip. All right, so we've won that one. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hit up the machine complete. And we're going to change the chassis up this time. I was thinking we might have had to go to the body shop, but the body's the same. It's just slapping on the Diablo arrow that, that all we've done. And that doesn't impact what sort of... We've only got the two chassis. Okay, well, I mean... It might be an idea to keep an eye out for someone else with a... Um, a, what's it called? Like a front-wheel drive chassis or four-wheel drive chassis. I don't think we're going to get the rear-rear chassis. That's basically uh, what our friend... Uh, Herr Schneider is driving the Porsche 911 knockoff, so you're not going to see too many of those kicking around. Unless there's like a minivan kicking around. Weight went up a little bit there. Well, yeah, okay, but we can put some crap on here, so. Not Grenada. We'll take the nice, t the nice tires. We'll throw on a little weight reduction. What did we have on here? We had the Speedtech Bro suspension with this dampening. We had the two, three racing brakes. And with that much extra stuff. Let's improve the torsional rigidity of the chassis. As opposed to suspension stiffness. We'll just... Um, We'll make the chassis more rigid. I don't know if you guys are NASCAR fans, but uh, I think it's on Brock Beard's channel here on YouTube. Brock has a, at as of recording, a four-part documentary, 500 Days. It's about the storylines of the uh, the run-up to the uh, Daytona 500. It's, it's basically running from kind of documents. It starts with Dodge's return to NASCAR. And the 500 days before the Indianapolis 500 when they announced their return to NASCAR. And it kind of follows it all the way through to the Rockingham race that concluded eight days after the Daytona 500. It's uh, 2001 Daytona 500. So if you're a NASCAR fan, you know kind of all of the, what that entails. But All right, front rear cup. But one of the things that comes up in the fourth part of that is talking about the safety of the cars and Larry Mack talking about how a rigid chassis is like the, how they always want to get a stiffer car because it would always react better to changes, it always handle better the stiffer the car was. And they kind of talked about that in terms of the safety of the car, especially in relation to the Dale Earnhardt crash in the 2001 Daytona 500. So seeing the, the torsional rigidity of the chassis come up kind of, kind of kind of reminded me of that. Now we'll see how the handling is on this vehicle. Not necessarily because I'm worried about the handling, but it should. The handling characteristics of the vehicle should be well different than what it is with a midship engine because we've moved the engine from the middle of the car to the front of the car. There's part of me that wants a... Oh, man. There's part of me that wants a lighter car at this point, because it's like... I seem to be acclimating myself well to... Now, granted, some of it could be... The extra parts I've got bolted on, some of it could be just, you know, I'd probably run a lot more overall racing laps across all games in a front engine car. Because let's be honest, in a racing video game, unless you're running like, I guess, 
really an NSX or similar. Or a Porsche or... Oh, Ferrari, Ferrari uh, GT cars. It's like it's got to be open wheel prototype or, or it's a front engine car. Now, not, not necessarily all prototypes. I don't know if you... Not just the Nissan LMP1. I made the one Lama appearance. There was... Pano's ran a uh, front engine? Yeah. I was going to say... I was, yes, Pano's ran a front engine um, prototype. LMP 900 days. I had to think about that one for a second. Some, I just get... I don't remember if that... I assume that appeared in, like, one of the Le Mans 24-hour games. Don't know if it ever showed up in, like, a Gran Turismo or similar, but... I've got two different versions of what you might know as Le Mans 24-hours. I have the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2 versions of that game. The PS1 is very arcadey, the PS2 is considerably less. The PS1 version I have, it's, it's titled Test Drive Le Mans, but it is... If you go look it up on Wikipedia, it sounds like it's all the same game part and parcel. But the PS1 Test Drive Le Mans great roster of cars, don't get me wrong, but it's all fictional tracks. Even Le Mans is compressed down from like about like a four-ish minute lap. It would have been at that time to a uh, what have been about like a minute, 20 minute, 30? Which kind of, you know, it's not really running Le Mans. And then they had a whole bunch of fictional tracks named after famous corners of the circuit, don't get me wrong. But, um, Nah, it's just not quite the same as... Alright, let's double check down here and see what we can get into at uh, the stadium circuit. Never mind, we're, we're good over here. All that's left is heavyweight and like 8 turbo or something like that, but... Uh... Oh, we can t check out the test course, too, can we not? Yes. Uh, no, so, uh, what I was gonna say was, yeah, that the PS2 version has actual real-world circuits. Maybe not necessarily as wide a selection of cars, but it does have more real-world circuits, which makes it, uh, a little more interesting in that regard. I discovered my love for the Burno circuit in, uh, the Czech, uh, Czech Czechia. I was gonna say Czech Republic. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Old type arrow kit I don't have. Oh. Yes. C type arrow kit. We can... Normal? No arrow kits. And it's just power at this point. So, let's play around a bit with the chassis. In the machine complete. We'll get... Since we're allowed to, to mess around with the chassis, let's mess around with the chassis. I was... Since I was thoroughly expecting... Um, we'll get the boots. We'll get the suspension. We had the stoppers on there. And we had the minus 30 weight on there. Now... What was I allowed here? No. 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 Alright. So, let's start messing around with the... Oh, that was the wrong button. Now, if I could use the right button, that would be fantastic. No, what we're going to do is, we got C car arrows, and we've got... We can get rid of arrows, we can get C car arrows. And we can get the... GT arrows, so we can hit a few of those. Arrow C, arrow GT. We got carbon GT. Takes a whack of downforce off. We should be fine. 
And then what we'll do is we'll go into the, uh, that one. Trial and error, it's the only way to break mock speed. But don't you dare make a single error. Error is the end. Well, the plan is not to make an error, thank you. We've done enough laps of this thing. But we're not on snow tires, which will make it considerably <laughs> easier. I just edited that episode so it's fresh in mind. All right, two, one, lights out and away we go. Very quick, little bastards. Well, we snuck through. The second turn, hairpin, a little more e brake Stevo rhythm section. Little agricultural there, which we learned from racing Mr. Sch Herr Schneider. Let's call him by his proper German name there, Steve-O. Didn't need to do that, we just blitzed out a massive lead on him. The funny thing is I can feel the lack of downforce. You're, you're, we're so used to that. And then you get a little car with some downforce here, so it's much more stable. then all of a sudden it's like all goes like how you drive the car all goes to hell get it off onto the tarmac as we do the big final turn but two ago maybe is it two or three to go at that pace it'd be three sorry I'm looking at the record time I could have wrangled it off the off before he hit the wall before if I wanted, but nope, couldn't be arsed. I'm so worried about getting out of the grass on the inside that I ignored the fact that I was about to send myself onto the grass on the outside. We are coming up on those guys. Two to go. L2. I was going to try and ride the berm. No, the berm. The curb like it's the berm at a dirt track. Did not quite go how I wanted. I don't know if you could tell, though. We got... Fourth. Oh, no. Fifth. Fourth and third. All in the way here. No wonder why I ran into the back of... No wonder I ran to the back of them. Off the start. Because they were busy flying in formation to block anyone from getting by them. L1. L1. White flag. One more time around. For those of you more familiar with the American racing verbiage. And here goes the last of them. We've lapped the field. I wasn't even running my good shit. Since apparently Diablo is verboten here. We'll put it on for the 600 race. And then we'll see... We'll see what else we can use. And that's... Oh, 800,000 yen for that! All right, so C car. What we can do is, 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 is. Pretty sure, yeah, arrow C, we got arrow C. Plays a little more, but it works. Oh, that's yeah, the group C stuff, right, right, right.
My chest hurt as I gazed at the sky and saw the clouds instead of stars. Blue day is rainy day. Yokohama blue light a lagoon. A lot of Group C racers. Not a lot of wings on it, which is comforting. Lights out in the way. We ow. <laughs> That's not how it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a little bit of argy bargy through the first turn. You'd think it's short track Saturday night. Instead, it's Terrible Tuesday. Is that a thing? I don't know. So I don't know if you guys check out the Unsilent on air socials. Of course, you could check out the entire list of the uh, social media accounts in the description below. But the uh, unsilent socials includes uh, Mastodon, right? And so one thing I learned on Mastodon you got Throwback Thursday, you got Follow Friday. I mean, that's old shit from Twitter, right? I mean, some things don't change. No, but they had one I hadn't heard of before, which is Waterfall Wednesday. And I have to get on that a little more. But then again, how many video games have I played on the channel with waterfalls on it? Like, I showed um, one on there from a long-form video I'm working on. But it was like... It's amazing how, like... Like, a lot of my discoverability, you know, it's not from, like, posting... I mean, some of it's from posting about retro games and stuff like that. But, it's I was kind of amazed how popular the Wednesday... The Waterfall Wednesday stuff was. It's like, really? It's, but I guess it's... Maybe it's because it's a Mastodon thing. It's, it's one of those... It's one of those community identity type trends. It's like, okay, no, this is us. I mean, everyone does Throwback Thursday. Everyone does Follow Friday. We do Waterfall Wednesday. Maybe that's... And I just... Because I don't quite get... Mastodon. Maybe that's... Why it's, it's just... Not connecting with me. I don't know if Nukage Falls count. Because we probably have Blood Falls. There was a whole level called Blood Fall. In... Uh, in one of the Doom games, Doom Two, perhaps, because I remember doing my best, uh, my best Adele. When the blood falls, when it crumbles, we will stand tall and face it all. You know that. The, whoop. <laughs> Here I am crooning badly and driving off the road, badly. I'm not gonna cut out the races. Ah, there. I was trying very hard not to hit them. Ah, we're not gonna lap everyone. Dang. We're also not gonna set a record time. Dang. Oh, a million yen! One million dollars! Alright. So we need... Oh, normal car. Which we can just... Axe the body kit, right? We may actually... You know what we might do? We might cheat a little. Okay. Now you're probably wondering... I've still got the rear wheel... Drive shafts. No? Because of the weight... Right, I was thinking, no, I'm, I'm 745 is the kilos, that's my weight. No, it's not. Because that's my the weight of my car with the Diablo arrow, and the Diablo arrow weighs less. Also, it's interesting, the Diablo paint doesn't activate without the Diablo arrow kit. Unless, of course, we remove this... You get the Diablo arrow kit and the Diablo paint, but you can't do them. Ah. Interesting, eh? 
No, uh, what I was thinking of doing... Is we'll throw on... We'll throw on a little wing. Hey! They said normal body kit, but they did not say that I couldn't throw some arrow on it. It's technically legal, the best kind of legal. The dazzling ferocity of headlamps lighting up the asphalt in the night. That's Gale a moment. What does that mean? All right. I'm the only one that brought some arrow parts with me. Bang off a couple cars and take the lead quite quickly. A lot of five lappers happening here. I kind of wonder. I assume like the thousand horse... Not that we can do the thousand horsepower race, admittedly. But the thousand horsepower race, I wonder if that one's longer. A bit of an enduro. Because we have found like it's... I think we found some of the other artificial... or Not artificial, unofficial races. I think we found some of the other unofficial races that they do have varying lengths. Now, obviously, not when you're doing, like, over in Hakone, because it's just a straight shot, but... We've got some of these races that would, that have shown that they do run, uh... on different lengths, so if this one's not, like, you know, if this one's a five-lapper, and it is, it's like the... like the 60-horsepower race is that going to be a... Ah, there we go. I'm gonna say, is the 60-lapper gonna be, or the 60-horsepower gonna be, like, a three-lapper or two-lapper? Is, like, the 1,000-horsepower gonna be, like, a ten-lapper? Things like that, you know? I don't, like, I think, I, I was starting to muse on it, I can't remember if I finished musing on it. Because I don't know if we do have, like, I know we've got, like, the small engines, but I don't know if we got one that's only 60 horsepower, and we have to take, like, literally everything off and get it as light as possible. Because, you know, no sense winning, uh, in a fair fight if you can stack the deck in your favor, right? Realizing that, um... How many times have I done other racing games? Like, I've done a lot of racing games on this channel, don't get me wrong. It's floating, it's not floating, whoo! Might have scraped some paint off the side of that guy. We're on the final lap. Not the last lap, but one, but the final lap. Like, I remember one of the frequent complaints I got playing uh, fl the Flat Out games is, Oh, Steve, why don't you just buy the best, game, uh, best car in the game and just make it easier on yourself? And it's like, meanwhile, there I am having competitive races, driving what is... What everyone pl that has played the games before I think is objectively one of the worst ga uh, cars you could put together. It's like basic car, minimal upgrades. It's like, yeah, but I'm still, like, if I'm not whooping the AI's ass, I'm having competitive races. No yen, but we've got a an engine. Okay. Can I learn more? All right, machine complete. No, that was the wrong button. My bad. So we got this one at 60, ah, 62, dang. 
321 is a big, big hunk of steel. I would imagine, anyway. It's, uh, just under 36 kilos per thousand cc, and you've got 3.2 liters worth of of a uh, car there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do at the moment... Is I'm allowed to put the Diablo arrow back on. Hey, look at that. Just pop out of here for a minute. And into this menu. Because... Off-road, that's in North Yoko. Third Cahen. Oh. Unknown. There's a whole one I've missed? There's Bay Lagoon. All that. Oh, Bay Lagoon, Honmoku, South Yoko. Which one would be South Yoko? Test course. Chinatown, we've won level one, level two. Maybe I am missing a little bit here. Oh, so that's. Oh, so th okay. Wait, I think I'm. I think I'm picking it up. So this is South Yoko's stuff here. Left and right gets me between the different districts. But what's the unknown? So. Oh, so this is sort of C1-ish. Yeah? Winding Road. New C1. And Unknown. So there's one I... There's a whole one I missed. Oh, at the top right. Greatest Warrior. So I'm still Greatest Warrior? So we've won two at the Hanmoku. We've won a chunk there. South Yokohama must be uh, the... Um, uh, the baseball stadium. Oops. Uh, test course. We haven't won any of the power ones yet. Now, do I have to go back to... Ancient Bay is right down the road here. Oh, no, it's Cosmic Big Wheel shit. That one was on me. There's like two of these wharfs I could go down and I picked the wrong one. There are still guys still looking to race tonight. Here it is. A little dink to the left, back to the right. Ancient Street. Ancient Bay. Now, there was part of me yeah, it's the same scene as it was before. What's he trying to tell? Yeah, so this is where we were before. That's right, Heim. Yokohama's fast. Okay, so we hit it. Or so I've been told. So we can go here, we could screw around a little bit. And there's part of me that just wants to... I can't do the 60, because I don't have the engine for it. Ah, but you know who might? I wonder if the to Toon Shop has a shitty engine. Just out of curiosity, I just want to see if the Toon Shop has a shitty little engine. 
that I can use for the 60 horsepower one, and then we'll call it a day. So by unit. No. No. Oh, the detune. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't suppose there's anything else here to worry about. Probably not, eh? What's this one? Saga Frontier 2 sticker. I assume that's another Square Enix game. Don't mind me while I just screw around. As med men or want to do. So we can put in this crappy engine, the detune, can we put something else in in there? Not that. Incompatible with carbureted engines. This is a carbureted engine. I'll be goddamned. Oh. oh, no. Because you have to, you can't do two ECUs at the same time. Which is fine. There we go. 59.6. Sixty horsepower dragging six hundred kilos of weight. Yokohama's nightlife is our only escape from our numbing daily grind, driving all night together. Got a lot of these small micro cars, minis, and. Oh, it's lights out the way we go. Oh, God, it's a five lap race. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Am I even going to have to use the brakes? Challenge time. Try and get through this without tapping the brakes. Brake, brakes proper. Wasn't there one? In, one wasn't that one of the um, challenge races along the way? Well, got to use the e-brake to at least get around that turn. Yeah, one of the um, one of the Hakone tracks was was don't use the brakes and don't use the. Uh, don't use brakes or e-brakes. They're not as far away as I was anticipating. All things considered. Well, let's see. 1 minute 3.1. Nice wide turn, nice slow car. The only time I need the e-brake is in that hairpin. And now I've just taken it in such a way that I don't need the brake. So we're just going to use throttle on, throttle off for the rest of the track. Is it the optimal way to do it? No. But at the same time, it's like, well, let's just have a little fun with it.
they're not as far away as I had really anticipated. We might actually have to take this a little seriously. This could get more interesting. Now I had to e-brake it a little bit there to get it to rotate through. Even though we can't see this guy in the rear view mirror, he is one slip away from catching and passing us. So I actually might actually have to concentrate on this one. It's not like the last bunch where it's been like I can just have a nap in the middle of the race and still be fine. If there are no hares, there are also no tortoises. Turn in at about 100 miles an hour. I think I should be used to driving this. I mean, it should be about as much horsepower as my car has. If you're newer-ish to the channel and haven't heard me talk about my car, I drive a 12-year-old Ford Fiesta. Yes, I'm planning on getting a new car. I have had a few things change between... Like, I got that when I... I, I didn't even have my accounting designation when I got that car. I was making... I was making... Can, can I say this? I was... But two years out of university, I was making 34 grand. And I thought, man, that's not too bad money. I mean... I, yeah, it was. But I digress. When you go, when when you're me and you're, you're an auditor, then you go to a client and like, oh, this manager who has a high school, like this accounting manager who has a high school education and just got the job by virtue of sticking around here long enough. And he's making four times your salary. And that's when you realize, no, I, I make jack shit. But I digress. And so, yeah, but um, in the intervening years, it's just been like, ah, I don't want to get out. I just get a new car. I just change job. Oh, I'm unemployed. I shouldn't get a new car. Oh, I just changed job. Oh, it's a pandemic. Oh, it's, I didn't want to say, oh, it's, oh, Zaki. Ugh. I don't want to justify it by saying excuse after excuse, but uh, yeah, it was ex it, it's it's excuse after excuse. I should I should have a new car. Should have had a new car ages ago. That one's on me, really. I want to try the um, six hundred. Maybe take one of these out. Okay, maybe put that back in. Can we? Eh, not quite that one. Maybe we can do with the 200? Oops. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll do the 600. See if we can't get ourselves one more double turbo. Oh, we saw that one already. I was hoping they'd all be unique uh, intros. All right, 600 horsepower showdown. We don't quite have six on the nose, but we're pretty close. Um, apparently, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Did, are, are we sure it said power must not exceed 600?
Because I'm starting to feel like that's not actually what's happening here. Snuck under the one, snuck under the second. All right. Get the slipstream OP. He sends me into the grass, but we survive. Try and get it to rotate through T1. Flat through turn two. Hairpin turn three. Now we get into the rhythm section. It's four. Back to the left for five. Six is this. Which blends right into seven. If it was like Formula One, it'd be like seven, eight, nine to get the corner count up, but. Like, what was the, um... Maybe they call this first turn two turns, just for fun. I consider it one because it's just a turn. But I don't understand how corner count works in Formula One. Like, the uh, Saudi circuit doesn't have, like, a million turns. Someone out there say. Well, no, not quite a million. It's like 28, but it's still a lot. I don't remember. Is it 25 or something like that? 28. I, I assume that turn 8 at Istanbul is still just turn 8 and not like... You know, that's the long one that's got like about 3 or 4 apexes and it just... It's... It's in a, in a Formula 1 car damn near flat. Just load up the right front tire. As you go flat through that turn. Not ah, fast lap. I guess I haven't had the full shebang on the car yet. This is the closest I've gotten to the, you know, the full chassis and aero package. It just so happens that I'm down about 200 horsepower from where I normally would be, or ideally would be, optimally would be. Uh, pick the adjective you prefer. Jet down. Oh, that's it. Okay. Now, just, uh, just suspension pieces. Alright, so, let's see what the suspension piece is while we also load up this. Oops, that's the look at a car thing. There we go. My bad. RS Wizard, super low. Oh, it's just a tick worse than what we've got. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, I guess if we want to be optimal, yes, there is something wrong with that. But we get that. We gotta throw that on, and then I think we throw on the next black cat. Then, yep, there we go. Back to where we started. Now, I'm thinking, 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 we're going to GS. We've gone this whole way without GSing. Pretty sure. And then what we're going to do, we've already done both of them there, we know that. And then we're going to head to South, uh, the Bay Lagoon Tower. I assume that's going to let us... And the night, maybe we get thrown... I'm GSing now in case we get thrown into a race between now and at the end of the night. 
So we're just going to make sure. All right, let's head south. Automatically takes over. I guess we'll pick up where we left off in the last scene. Congrats, show You've met the requirements to pass through. Magical, isn't it? Thank you, Nanako. I'm finally done with my contract. Are you ready? Don't leave any regrets. Make sure to GS first. We did. We did. I'm worried about you. Alright, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. Rock and roll. Are you really sure? What you guys don't see in the background of these Let's Plays is that I do make copies of the saves after most episodes. So after the last episode, I would have a save backed up just in case. So if I needed to go back before this for whatever reason, I do have that option available to me. So I, I feel as though this is the point of no return. Now I don't know if we're going to get to... If we get a night complete here... We'll pick up from this point next time, and if not... Then what we'll do is we'll just pick, we'll just pick up from that save that I just did, so... Yeah, <laughs> ready? Then let's uh, begin. Oh, he's an Italian wannabe Italian mobster. Oh, see, I told you we we're gonna get a race. Once again, a white cloth was pressed against my face. Oh, I've been chloroformed. The world disappeared into a white haze. Hey, so what? Can I go home now? Yes, we have no more need for you. Oh, goody! Thanks for everything, guys. The soccer or something? Does that mean I can drive it? I don't care. Just get it done. It, it's an honor. My job rocks. I sparks of willpower and hope well up from the bottom of my despair. After all, I was supposed to be their final hope. I had to follow along for now. Take me anywhere. I don't care. I'm a poet and don't even know it. I'll even listen to your revolting stories. Yuka, Iki, and Akira are counting on me. Kenzo, fuck them. Those suited up assholes have gone too far. It's time to get back at them. Live or die, I'm not stopping until I've reached that goal. And that's night complete music here on Racing Lagoon. Which means it's the final showdown next time. On Racing Lagoon, we gotta save Iki and Akira and Yuka from Wantech at Bay Lagoon Tower. But until we see you for that, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is on Silent On Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr, and don't forget there's plenty more Racing Lagoon in the playlist, it's on the screen, in the description down below, more videos any time, on the channel page, and until the next time, I'm on Silent, thanks very much for joining me, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.